Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to move a single server database file to a different drive. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so in my SQL server, I have this uh, database called AdventureWorks database, uh, which is this one right here. And the database is a little bit too big. So I want to move the uh, database file to a different drive that has larger uh, storage. All right, so first I want to uh, navigate to Microsoft SQL Server's directory. And you can uh, go to the C drive, then go to Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server, followed by MS SQL, and the version number, MS SQL Server. And if we go into MS SQL, uh, SQL version, MS SQL Server folder, there should only be one folder available. Then go into that folder, and you should see the data folder. Now, if you go inside the data folder, you should see all the database files and the log files. And right here is the AdventureWorks database files. So these two files. Now I want to go into my SQL Server Management Studio. If I run this uh, SQL query, it's going to give me the file logical name and the file location tied to this database. Now in my SQL query, I want to set uh, this database offline. And I can do that by using the outer database statement, followed by the database name. And it's going to be Adventure Works 2019 database. And here I need to type set offline. All right, so if I just run uh, this code block, and it's going to uh, set the database status to offline. Now I'm going to uh, move these two files, my database files in the log file to my H drive, which is going to be uh, this SQL Server databases uh, folder. So I'll move the file over there and let me delete these two files. All right, so going back to the uh, PN folder of the SQL Server databases uh, folder. So right click on the folder, properties, and here I want to go to the security tab. They want to click on edit. They want to add a new user. From the text box field, we want to enter Microsoft SQL Server's uh, user ID. And it's going to be nt space service backward slash ms SQL server. Then click on check names uh, to populate the user ID. Then click on OK to add the user. And here, I've granted Microsoft SQL Server the user to be able to access the folder. And from the permission set, I'm going to give Microsoft SQL Server the user full control. Then apply to apply the setting. All right, now going back to the uh, SQL query, now we need to change the location of our uh, database files. And we can do that by using the outer database followed by the database name. Then we need to use the modify file command. And we need to uh, specify the uh, file logical name. All right, so I download the database files directly from GitHub. And apparently they forgot to uh, update the file logical name. So it's going to be uh, AdventureWorks 2017 for my file. So this is going to be file logical name. And they'll need to reassign the file location using the file name property. And here I'm going to grab the uh, folder path, assign that to the file name property, followed by the file name. And we need to do the same thing for the log file. And the last step is we're going to set the uh, database online. 
using the outer database statement. Here I can just copy this statement here. And I'll type set online. Now if I run the SQL script, so here I'm getting an error. My database file is compressed, but does not reside in a read-only database or file group. And that's because, here let's go back to the database file. So if I right-click on the database file, properties. Now on the general tab, click on events. And here I want to uncheck uh, this option, compress contents to save desk space. Oh, so it's being used by the SQL Server database. So we need to set the uh, database offline again. Now let me try again. And we need to do the same thing for the log file. General, events. Now let me run the script again. And this time, I'm able to execute every single uh, SQL statement successfully. And if I look at my uh, file location, now the database is updated to my H drive. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.